Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to do some little Christmas arrangements. And uh, I know this is a longer burger, uh, but it has a liner in it. So, I'm just gluing this foam to the liner. Uh, and I'm just using some uh, floral foam here. And what I'm going to do is just build a little arrangement inside this. So, I start out... Uh, by gluing some of this moss to um, to the foam and I just make sure that that's covered well and then I'm going to start gluing my larger items down and I'm going to start with this tree and uh, I got this in a set of three at the Dollar Tree but I had already uh, put some um, burlap around the bottom uh, which wouldn't have been necessary here, but it's going to be hidden by by the uh, greenery anyway, so I'm not worried about that being on there. I want it to look like a natural tree, so like I said, there was really no need to do that. I just already had some of them done. And then I got this little uh, deer at the Dollar Tree last year. So I wanted that larger tree in the back, and then I'm going to put uh, a little smaller tree beside it and kind of... Uh, in front of it somewhat. Uh, so what I want to do is just uh, create some balance here, but also create some uh, height in the back. And now I'm just going to start adding some, uh, some greenery uh, to this and some other little items. And uh, it's just not something that I can really voice through. So I'm just going to let you watch this part. Now here, I'm just making a little um, sign for the front of it, and I felt like uh, I needed something to kind of hide that, the, the um, tacks in the band, and then also something to, um, to dress up that front. And I wanted uh, this to say Merry Christmas, but um, I wanted to add some of the uh, green color in here so i just took some book page that didn't have any uh print on it and stamped merry christmas and um as far as where i get my stamps um most of the stamps like these i have picked up at carm actually uh, my scripture stamps i get at hobby lobby or amazon um but I had a little book page here that um, that was solid colored here, and it was the color of green that I wanted. So um, I'm going to put that behind this white uh, so that it will um, bring out that green. And I'm just going to put it on using these little Velcro circles that I get at the Dollar Tree, and that way, if it needs to be removed at some point, it can, and it won't won't uh, hurt the value of this little basket.
And next, I'm going to take this little silver plate child's cup and uh, put a little Christmas tree in it. So this will be a simple one. I'm just going to put my foam in here. And I kind of stuffed the bottom with this uh, foam. And then I'm going to take a little styrofoam, this little styrofoam ball, and glue it to the top. And that way I'll have some height. I don't want to put the tree too far down into the cup and, and not be able to see it well. And then I'm just going to uh, add a little bit of glue to uh, the bottom of my uh, tree and stuff it down in that styrofoam. Now for this one, I did uh, take the base off the tree and then I, I just have the wire left. Um, I'm stuffing these sides well because uh, I want to uh, put some greenery on the bottom of this and I don't want anything uh, going down into the side. So like I said, I'm adding some glue there and then I'll stick that wire down in the middle and then I'll fill in uh, with some moss. And this one's going to be very simple. Uh, I like to take little trees, uh, and these I get three for a dollar, as I said said before, um, at the Dollar Tree. And so this will be a decoration that you'll have very little in, but sometimes it's just a matter of what you put it inside, and then it just makes a, a really big difference in the look of it. And I like using unconventional items like this to put my little trees in. So once I put that moss in there and I sprinkle just a little bit of snow around, uh, then all I need to do to this one is add a little hang tag. And to do that, I just uh, stamped uh, a little tree on, um, on some book page that uh, doesn't have any print on it and tore that out. And then I antiqued around the edges of that. And then I'm going to put it on a little piece of red cardboard here. And then it says, it's kind of a card stock, uh, but you get it at the Dollar Tree in a pack. And um, it works real well for this. So it's got a little bit of strength, enough strength to make it um, a hang tag. And then you could just kind of glue something to, to the front of it. And then obviously I'll punch a hole in it uh, with a hole punch and tie that around the handle. And I'm just going to use jute twine uh, to tie that on with. And I forgot I decided here to just wrap it around the entire cup and then through that handle. And that's all that I do to that one. And I think this one has a real country feel to it. Uh, and then the next one, I'm just going to use a little miniature teapot. And it had a lid, but um, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't want to use the lid. The, the little pot itself had somewhat of a crack around the top of it. And that doesn't matter to me because that's going to be hidden. And uh, so I just threw away the lid and I'm going to use, make this one a little arrangement. I love doing these in little items like this because it takes very little to, uh, to, make, um, to make a really big difference in it. So I'm going to glue this little tree and I've taken the base off this one. Uh, in top in the top of this styrofoam, but I'm purposely going to one side because I want to add uh, some dimension to the other side also. And then again, I'm just going to fill in.
and I'm not going to do a hang tag for, for this one. I'm just going to glue this right to the front of this little teapot. Uh, but first, I'm, glue, I'm gluing this uh, onto the front of um, a piece of red cardstock. And then I'm just going to tear it out to where there's just a, a tiny bit of that red uh, to border this on the outside. Now this is the last one of these that I'm doing uh, in my video today, but tomorrow I'm going to be doing some of these little small arrangements using some churches. Um, so um, watch for that tomorrow night. And I forgot here that I decided to add another layer to this. So I'm gluing this onto an old book page and then I'm going to tear out a small border with that. And then I'll glue that directly onto the front. So when you're thrifting, uh, look for little items like this. Um, a little coffee cup makes an, a great thing to do these in also. So uh, just kind of look for those little items that you can make these arrangements in because you can generally buy those for very little. And like I said, tomorrow night I'll give you some other ideas for that uh, using the little Dollar Tree churches, uh, the little Dollar Tree church ornaments. And this first one here is one that I didn't do on film, but it was just a little simple one that I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.